when uh, confronted uh, with uh, facts. Mm, it uh, looks like they're getting down to business. Uh, admitted that like most of us, Marty Jones is watching news reports of the airstrikes over Iraq with mixed emotions. The former Marine Lance Corporal was on the front lines as a tow missile gunner in 1991. In the middle of Desert Shield, Desert Storm, I felt that we should have gone right in, taken them out. I mean, I was ready to come home, let's get it over and done with, and that was the quickest way, I thought. But now that I look back at it, I felt that we did it the right way. Our sole objective was to take over Kuwait back, and we stopped there, and I agree with that. But now, I think that this guy is a, pretty much a time bomb waiting to explode, and I think we need to take him out of power. Living out of his Humvee with three other Marines, Jones saw Iraqi tanks, this the infamous black force clouds force of the oil well fires, and death really up close. We were on the front lines from day one when we got over there until after the war. We did not live in tents. There was no tent around to be seen, no hot meals, no running water. For now, Jones is continuing watching aircraft like this B-52 conduct airstrikes over Iraq. He says ground troops should not even be involved at this time. Ground troops are used to take over a plot of land. Now, if they decide to take over Iraq, you're going to need the ground troops to do it. And I just don't think that's in the plan of attack right now. So this time around, the government volunteer firemen will sit this one out and watch it on TV, like many of us did when he was in the desert seven years ago. In Bellevue, with photographer Mark Smith, Robert Keith, KPTM News. It was pure midnight at noon. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face.